It sounds like... a man? Every time I grow stronger, I'm thrown into another battle. It's a vicious cycle. That's marvelous! Not true. The moment the enemy drops their guard, we'll swarm them like a pack of bees. And if they don't drop their guard? Then I guess we'll just sit here making angry faces at each other. Nah, I'll come. I wouldn't want anything to happen to Leone's home. Good to know I can count on you at least. I take my pay in apples. Wolf howl! Bring me more hay for eyes? That's so rude. Oh, she's still all Bounty do this and Bounty do that with me, come to think of it. Here I am, pouring my heart out, and you have the gall to brag about my sweet sister's attentions. Unbelievable. You really lose your cool when it comes to Hilda, you know that? Let it be known that on this day, the mighty host, Defender of Lester, revealed his true colors. I'd gladly give up my reputation if that's what it takes to get Hilda back to normal. But eventually I feel way, 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 way better. So I decide to hop back in the bath again. Whew. Huh. You take baths when you're already hot? That's some impressive fortitude. I think I underestimated you. Oh, I don't know. Relatable? I mean, swamp beasties are so... beastie. Ugh. Wouldn't it be better with a puppy or a baby sheep or something cute like that? Hmm, I see what you're saying. Cute animals, cute animals. Oh, what about bears? Huge ones! Yeah, I guess huge bears are better than beasties. I mean, they are pretty cute when they're not trying to tear your face off. Okay, that's good. Except, I'm pretty sure bears don't live in swamps. I'm glad it is not just you and me alone, your majesty. Or else I would be reduced to a blubbering idiot. Well, I'm certainly glad we avoided that. Although, does that mean you're a blubbering idiot all the other times we're alone? They are burning oh. Garrick Mach. That's a bold move, Dimitri. Ah, yes, the old set it on fire strategy. We should put that out before things get messy. For the last time, Kaspar, food is for eating and not inhaling. Um, hello? Are you listening to me? Mmm. Hey! I can chew and swallow at the same time! Hereby sentence you to death for feeding me horrible food! Do you honestly believe I wander about executing people at will for the smallest transgressions? Too much cheese and spice, is it? <laughs> Perhaps I might even agree to go out with you sometime. So long as you don't use any more of your awful pickup lines from the first time we met. Oh, how did that one go again? Ah, yes. Hello there, my adorable little chickadee. Get to let this rooster into the hen house? Look, I already apologized for mistaking you for a girl, so you can quit bringing it up now. And give up such an embarrassing tidbit on the next Margrave Gautier? Never! Don't I already do enough chores with you at home? <laughs> Bad luck this time. Come, it'll go quicker if you don't spend so long complaining. You love taking off your clothes almost as much as you do gambling. I'm not a child and neither is my tongue. Now give me some of that coffee. <laughs> ah, how splendid. But do try not to become so flush with rage that you make a foolish error. Perhaps if you grew flush with rage every now and again, you wouldn't have the complexion of a coffin dweller. You can come out, Hubert. Huh? Did you know all that, Cyril? Don't use my ignorance to feel better about yourself. I am a purveyor of all trades, but an expert in none. A man such as yourself, who possesses rare ability in a single field, is positively dazzling. What? You are seriously overthinking this entire thing, Ferdinand. Which means we'll just have to toss you straight into the deep end and see if you can swim. Ah, no! Not the deep end! I hate the deep end! Is there some kind of terrible secret in the method? Black magic and the brown sugar, maybe? Oh, Caspar, there's no secret. Yuritza has loved sweets for the longest time, but he's terrible when it comes to making them. So if you can make a better sweet treat than he, I'm sure he'll be vexed and acknowledge his defeat. 
I'm trying to beat him in combat, not baking! Well, you can definitely handle yourself in a fight, Mr. Warrior King. Good to see your humor is intact. Never mind the gravity of the moment. Figured I'd skip the doom and gloom. I've got a plan up my sleeve I think you'll like. I'm listening. You head out after Edelgard, and I stay back here. The way I figure, I can keep the Empire off of you. But Claude! You'd rather she got away? Of course not. Good luck to you, Claude. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Is Geralt always like this? Yes, always. Well, guess us kids should shut up and head home. Maybe hold hands so we don't get lost. Must we hold hands? Only joking. I swear, the only thing duller than your blade is your sense of humor. And their hate. It will be enough. <sighs> Do you hate me, Felix? After all, I saw Glenn die. I watched it and could do nothing. His end lies on my shoulders. That's enough. I don't hate you, okay? You weren't responsible for any of that. They didn't die for your sake. They made their own choices of their own free will. Don't be so conceited. I suppose there is one thing that would change my mind. You mean if I made a move on Hilda? <laughs> now why would I want to kill you for that? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> I just can't believe you'd ever think of... Wait, what? You're walking a horse? We got a late start, but I always take him out on certain days. Right then. It seems I worried for nothing. I'm s Dorothea! Ferdy? What in the world? I shall not approach any closer! So pray, stand there and hear me out! My deepest apologies for what happened the other day! I fear I may have wounded you most grievously. As I am a fool who knows not how I upset you, you may freely laugh and jeer at my inadequacies. Exactly. You're actually smart sometimes, friend. So you usually think the things I say are dumb? Hey, wait. Maybe you're right. Yeah, but you're funny, so it all evens out. That doesn't help. What? What? Thank you. Did you know this particular species of flower is edible? It's luster. Such size! Such a gorgeous crimson! Yes, this looks like a scrumptious leaf indeed. You can tell how many times someone stared death in the face by looking at their own. I get my curly hair from my mom. Imitate that and you'll only end up throwing away your life on the battlefield. Oh, are you worried about us? That's sweet, Felix. I always had the impression you cared for your friends and now I know I'm right. Excuse me? Please calm down, Bernadetta. I'm not judging you for what you eat or when. You're going to eat me? No! I taste terrible! Oh, she is utterly exhausting. Or perhaps I'd be a farmer. I confess, the thought does sound rather delightful. Raphael! Farmer of Bridget! Raphael! Woodcutter of Bridget! Well, I think that's why it makes us so happy when we realize some things never change. Some things never change, huh? Hold on. That means you were still gawking at me as I ate. Yeah, but can you blame me? You are a fascinating eater. Our goal here is achieved. Now we hunt down any kingdom stragglers and... What? Your fun ends here. Hands once linked.
boat now carries swords filled with rage and bloody, and with their smiles forgotten, they seek the sweet release of death. I had a younger sister. Had? Oh. Uh, tell me about her. What was she like? Hmm. She loved flowers, and often made crowns out of them. And once she set her mind to something, nothing in the world could change it. Aw, she sounds sweet. And a little intimidating. You cannot flirt with the dead. Try as you might. Whoa, hold on. I, I was just being honest. Done. Here's your flower crown. Wow, mister. You're just as amazing as Miss Mercedes. Yeah, this is the prettiest flower crown I've ever seen. It's like an actual royal crown. We'll make one for me. Please, please, please. I could. Though it would be better to learn how to make your own. Oh, but my crowns always look all... Blech. You would have kept talking if I didn't. Oh. <laughs> Did I say something strange? Sorry, I wasn't trying to tease. I just think you're cute when you're flustered. <sighs> Hilda actually applying herself? What is next, pigs taking flight? Days of yore, I oft partooketh of the angler's art. Yea, forsooth, I was being quite adept. But in this place, thou art knowing thy waters better. Mayhap thou art being my guide? Eth? Let me ask you something, Hubert. Have you ever told Edelgard that you... Um... Mealtime is when you put food in your mouth, not your foot. Here, for you. Uh, thank you. Find them! This way! Typical boar. Can't help himself. <laughs> Do try to keep up. Back at you. What in Fodlin possessed you to invite the two of us? It's fine, but why? Yes. Whatever nefarious scheme you're up to here, spit it out. Not that I mind, of course. The pressure up! Give me a hand! <sighs> Do the thing, B. <clears throat> yeah! <gasps> One thing coming right up! <clears throat> it's over! <clears throat> Sheesh. Alright, that's enough worry for one day. Time to go run until I puke. Yeah! He said, and I quote, why would I trust Her Majesty's safety to a walking pile of liabilities such as yourself? Ask me again once you've cleaned up your act, and do be sure to use a good soap. So rude. Is this letter for Yuri? It's got a different name on it. Having fun? I won't hold you back! Hey. What kind of greeting is that? I gave you my title, not free license for insolence. Ah, Annette! Good day to you! I see you remain as sprightly and sweet as a newly bloomed flower. <sighs> Hi, Lawrence. Well then. Just one thing left. Must we do this now? Ugh. But I suppose you earned it. Just this once. So why do you keep playing the I'm so lazy card all the time? You see, that silence of yours just said, I don't need you to know me. Such a typical Emil thing to say. <laughs> You're sure this is for me? Wow, thank you. And here's a little something from me to you. 
I've seen how you've helped the boar, and I guess uh, you help me too. Wow, Felix, that's... <sighs> wow. <clears throat> oh boy, <laughs> I think someone's cutting onions in here. Well, I have certainly changed. Alas, I have lost all of my hopes and dreams. Are you kidding? That is a hundred percent you. Well, that was a good... <sighs> if I'm not careful, I'll quite literally have a mess on my hands. I prefer not to name my horses, if I can avoid it. Growing attached only makes their deaths more painful. I shall carry my beloved sister on my shoulders to strengthen my legs. Uh, how about no? Just carry a boulder or something. Is there a bug on my face? How did it manage to slip past my defenses? How's the book, Ignatz? Ah! You're really approaching this thing without considering my feelings? You're so far off the mark, I don't know what to tell you. My. I just thought the woman would enjoy breathing a literal sigh of relief. And to do so in a way where our forces make use of the monster she summons? Where is the harm? Alas. I suspect I am in for another mocking at the hands of Her Majesty, for how often people mistake me for a heartless cad. Whatever happened with that, by the way? I gave him my rejection and will never be seeing him again. They're sending oh in so many soldiers! <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? After gambling and booze, you're supposed to ask me about women, though I doubt our tastes are similar. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Hey, Shamir! Where are you going? Lawrence, I need you! I trust you! <laughs> yeah! No, oh, I trust you too, Lawrence. I trust you've been well, Your Majesty. Do I look it? I suggest you have your eyes examined, if so. Um... Why do I feel someone watching me? Hello, Bernadetta. <laughs> I... Uh, Stop. I am not a ghost, and I am not here to scold you. I'm just here to get food because I'm hungry. Give me a hand! Commence barbarous violence! Wait, I'm no barber! It's over! Oh look, it's a trap. I'm so surprised. Come on. Let's kill these guys and get out of here. Never even crossed my mind how irritatingly close you and Her Majesty are. Not once. Uh... Yeah, you basically just admitted it. I certainly did not. You did. You said you were jealous that Edelgard and I are so close. The word jealous never traversed my lips. You sure you're not, though? Perhaps... a little. I can't believe Professor Yuritsa just admitted defeat so casually! This is great, but also very frustrating, but also great? I'm so conflicted! No, I want to beat him head on! Oh, what? Are you gonna banish me someplace far away because I'm too dangerous? It's fine if you do. I'm used to being cut loose. That's just how life as a sellsword goes. Do not be absurd. If we were done with you, we would kill you, not banish you. For they don't call me the notorious king of grappling for nothing. You're Lester's king of... What's it, right? Yeah, I'll hail the king. Aw, were you waiting for me? Well, you're a good kitty, aren't you? Guess who brought you some fish? Hey, easy there, no need to wolf it down. Why are you helping the emperor, you wretch? <laughs> If you mourn your friends, avenge them! It's a blessing I get to face you. There is truly no one I more desire to end. I wonder if I will ever genuinely laugh from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> truly incredible. Still, I wouldn't say no to a seasoned mercenary tagging along. Eh? Eh? Not sure I follow. Really? Because I was laying it on pretty thick. Look, it's you, okay? I want you. 
I can tell you one thing. If Lord Arundel is here, I will choke the life out of him personally. I'll even let you watch, Your Majesty. Yes, just try not to overdo it. In that case, I guess Linhart is my host. We're the same, you and me. Warriors who fight with childhood buds backing up their fists. Except that our friends aren't the tiniest bit alike in terms of personality. You come here trampling people's homes and murdering their parents? I'm going to make you pay. Look, I understand if you bear a grudge, but we're all risking our lives here. What are you doing? As your new right-hand man, my first act is to haul my restless king back to bed where he belongs. <laughs> this is absurd. My feet are dragging on the floor. It's your own fault for being so tall, you sack of muscle. Thanks a bunch, meat buddy. Meat buddy? Wait, is that me? Less talk, more ham. And you better have enough for me and Ignatz, too. Oh, uh, right. Come on, you're not my mom. You're like the knight in that proverb. The one who spends all day building a fence around his pegasus, only for it to fly away. Valuable advice for a pegasus, perhaps. But I am no beast. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. It doesn't matter who you are. Everyone needs to take it easy sometimes. The roots of that organization run deep. You hold on. You're just looking to capture Rhea? You're not gonna, you know, get rid of her? Is it not enough to subdue a foe and remove them from power? <sighs> Garrick Mach, you remain ever as resplendent as the day I left you. The place cannot be so dear to your heart that it requires inferior poetry for an introduction. Inferior? I will have you know that line comes from one of my favorite operas. The kingdom might be a half-frozen stretch of dirt, but it's my half-frozen stretch of dirt. Forest? Check. Bears? Nope. Why can't I ever have nice things? Are you even listening to me, Linhart? I know what I saw. Oh, I heard you the first time. I just think you misunderstood what your eyes were telling you. The guy didn't have a head. What could I possibly misunderstand about that? Yeah, I think Balti would have been fine by himself. Don't say such things, Hilda. You'll make Balthus cry. No, she won't. Why, Ferdinand, now it is you who flatters me. Ah, but my hackneyed words could never do justice to a pinnacle of nobility such as yourself. Nay, those hackneyed words have become pure poetry by the alchemy of your noble idiom. Uh... Do I speak plain? Not in the slightest. No! I take it back! I take it all back! I wanted to fly, but not like this! Take it, your majesty. I... <laughs> Whether it's duty towards the living, or the guilt for all those we have lost, such burdens are not yours to bear by yourself. We are here to fight by your side, your majesty, and so we shall, now and always. I've no reason to hold back before the enemy of the Margrave and my people. Right, right. But on the other hand, it'd really make my day if you withdrew. No? Now quietly, sneakily... Bernadetta? Ah! Back to the beyond from whence you came! Mm. Hey, play along. You'll make Aloise sad. You play along. Well, color me surprised. Rhea's really the immaculate one? Whatever she is, we have to end her. Now quit staring before she crushes you. Well done, Bernadetta. You have come up with a splendid idea that eluded even myself. Why are you complimenting me out of nowhere? Are you plotting against me? Not particularly, no. Although I am thinking I will require your assistance in this matter from now on. No! Someone free poor Bernie from this torment! <laughs> Are you at a loss for words with the quality of the plants I gathered? Every one of these is poisonous! What? But the gorgeous leaf! 
the robust vine! Death in plant form! Throw them away before we die! You're all alone, fancy boy. What you gonna do? <laughs> Shouldn't you and Holst be punching each other's abs or something? Dimitri, I've been waiting for you to show. I was hoping we could have a little chat. First, you will receive your due punishment. I assume you were prepared to face the consequences when you decided to attack. <laughs> Bernadetta, what's wrong? Is there a rat in the base? Wait, a rat? Nobody told me about a rat! Oh no, oh no, oh no! It's gonna nibble on all my snacks! A fine result in spite of ourselves. Perhaps this is the power of a father-son team. What are you even saying? Actually, never mind. Let's just get this over with. I could feel this relaxed all the time. <sighs> Uh-oh. Yuri. What is it, old man? Spit it out. I pray for your safety. Do what you will. I only pray you find a suitable place to breathe your last. I'd love to find some reason to steal you away to my territory after the war. Don't joke like that, Sylvain. I serve his majesty alone. Ooh, shut down. <laughs> But, yeah, I, I get it. Oh, for the love of... Bernie! Please stop screaming our private business for all the world to hear! But you told me to stay away from you! And I must not disregard your wishes in the matter! I implore you to forgive me! I have no wish for our relationship to end in such a horrid manner! <sighs> this is getting good. We could take tea together sometime. Reminisce on the old days. I'm certain he would love that. T? Really? That's your grand idea? But why don't you build him a mansion where he can get old in peace or something? Still your wagging tongue, Churl. Seems sort of weird to call a big hulking place like that a maiden. That's because she's as hard to get near as the purest of maidens. If you're still confused, that's your own problem. Yeah, I still don't get it. <clears throat> Ravishing lady, princess from a foreign land, how sharp and true the swords you hold in your hand. Wilt thou not spar with me? Uh, uh -huh. No Berkeley's goes the long way round. We smash through and make our own path. <laughs> Is he nuts? The problem with you is that you always... Please, your majesty, let's not do this now. Look, the kitty cat wants you to snuggle-wuggle. None can hope to stand against me in a staring contest. Begin! You are a gracious loser to accept defeat so readily. I wanted my will to... Yeah, what's happening all over me? Huh? Ingrid, I have brought sustenance. Gals like me aren't cut out for the civilized life. I prefer to let my sword do the talking. Wait, you have a talking sword? Come now, I've always cared for your well-being. And it's not as if we never have tea together. Oh, I'm aware. This is the 208th time you've worried about me, and our 113th time sharing tea. I've been keeping a record on paper, and in my head. It's almost like you're talking to someone while you fight. Someone in your head that... Hey, what's with a smile? Huh? Uh, oh, sorry. I'm just really happy we've gotten to know each other so well. Only a true friend would be that open with their criticism. Thanks, Felix. <sighs> Say what you will. That's the last piece of advice I'm ever giving you. He wasn't really mad. Was he? It's so hard to tell sometimes. Don't tell me you forgot. Oh, right, the thing. The thing I definitely remember. That thing. I fear I may have miscalculated, my son. How can that be possible, Father? We have the enemy surrounded. Yes, and they have yet to give a damn. <laughs> oh, oh, this is rich. The king asking me for help. Fine. 
In that case, your majesty. I will do all in my power to safeguard your royal person. Happy? Well, naturally, I prefer to deal with someone who's forthcoming with her answers. <laughs> I am always forthcoming. Actually, I'm finding you a bit troublesome. You have my gratitude. What? The Burt? Again? Ugh. You. Still, just because you haven't attempted to woo me doesn't guarantee you won't do so in the future. Sure, but the thing is, you're not really my type. You're too smart and dainty and way too important. Wooing you would be like bringing a baguette to a sword fight. I know when I'm out of my league. I'm... Not quite sure how I'm supposed to take that. It really is sad how much time I spend trying to make vegetables palatable for people. A gaze that is piercing enough to unnerve even me. Is that so? Then we had best leverage our own assets. Why is everyone whispering? Is the enemy aware of our coming? seem more mature now, like a responsible young woman. I've always been mature, thank you very much. Well then, maybe you're simply wiser, like a wizened old grandmother. Not sure I'd call myself... You know what? Never mind. I'll take it as a compliment. You talking about women? Because if not, most of my memories are of Holst. Well, and Hilda, I suppose. That's not good. Well, seeing as the king himself is making the time, how about you buck up and do the same? Yes, ma'am. Uh, of course, ma'am. Are you sure that's a good idea? Yeah! Fire! Do it, Constance! Hey, slow down! 